while. It is April 5th, Friday. I am supposed to do six miles to bake. This is my peak week, but because of my piriformis stuff, I am... I was stuck at no activity orders, and now I have to walk my workouts, so wanted to do at least two miles outside, and then I'll do the rest of them on my treadmill, but I was feeling defeated, but nowadays I'm feeling, well, I should say today, I feel really good because I got my London corral information and bib number, and I'm so excited. I'm in corral bed, and my wave time is, I think, at 11 a.m. <laughs> really late time, but <clears throat> but I'm not like the last one, so. <laughs> It's really kind of cool. And then, um, yeah, my bed number. I'll share all that later. But I'm so excited. And I get to share this moment and these experiences and feelings with my, my husband, my son, my family, and my friends. And I'm so grateful for all this support I've been receiving. Yeah, quick update. I'll have more this weekend. Okay, it is Sunday, April 7th, and I just finished my peak week run. It was supposed to be 20 miles, but because of my piriformis issue, my coach dropped it down to 12, which means that the longest I've run in this training cycle has been about 20, or I'm sorry, 15, 16 miles. <sighs> to say I'm disappointed is a huge understatement because I was going for time for London. But uh, we're going to make do. I know I can do it. I've done the distance before, so it's not anything new. And I'm going to let the crowds just carry me through. I'm excited. I'm scared. Very scared. <laughs> but I heard London's great, so I'm looking forward to the sights. I'm looking forward to the trip and the opportunity to race for my charity, for my friends and family, for myself. So, thus ends peak week, and now I'm going into taper. I have a few runs scheduled. I'm going to continue rehabbing my piriformis. I'm going to try and get to a PT for dry needling. Hopefully, hopefully, cross your fingers, I can find someone that will do that without needing a physician's referral. And I know it's been a week plus since I've made a video on here and that's just because I've been dealing with piriformis I've not been doing anything I haven't even been walking it's been mandated just rest 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 and it's been driving me insane but I did it and today when I did my my run I felt very good so we're hoping that that stays despite not having that mileage I do have time on feet which is positive I have many hours on feet. I think my longest has been four and a half hours, which is, that's good. Um, that should be good. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so nervous. I don't want to be in pain following this race, but something tells me I will be in a lot of pain. <laughs> but good news is, if it's pain, it'll probably just be for my back or my piriformis uh, because my nutrition... My hydration, feeling, all of that's on point. I'm not worried about that. Knock on wood. <laughs> my shoes are great. 
clothing, everything's fine. I just I'm gonna have to take some Tylenol with me and probably Jeff it, meaning uh, run walk intervals until I can't anymore. But again, I'm gonna win. I'm hoping that miracles happen and this just be nothing but a positive and good experience. So here we go into taper now. And this is my last full week in the States. And next week we be travel we'll be traveling out to London. Here we go.